Hey guys, this is Darkfelt with a quick tip for something you can do when the server's down if you have some playtime available but the server's down. And by doing this, you can pretty much get your patron status for free. So uh, right now this works. It may not work in the future, but for now I'm going to share it with you. And here's what you do is you click on the upper right hand corner. You see I've got it clicked on in this picture. And click to the European server. If you're on Europe, you would click North American alternatively. And when you do that, boom, look, the other server is up. So while one is up, the other's down. They stagger the downtimes for maintenance almost always. I don't think I've seen it uh, otherwise. So you do that and click play and you can get into game on the other set of servers. Something to note about the servers is European servers um, share a labor pool separate than the US server pools and yet you can play on either set of uh, servers. So you can see I've made an alt. Uh, he's level 20 mainly through burning labor and I'm going to show you how I burn that labor leveled it up. Um, this isn't a character I'm actually playing. You have that option if you want. But I use this character to make money on uh, the European servers, to make gold. And when I get enough gold, I buy Plex on the European servers. I can get two Plex and use those to buy my patron status. And mainly I use it for AFK crafting. Uh, right now I'm, I'm smelting and I'll show you that. And as you can see when I log in, my tune is in Deep Stone Plains. Um, I leveled up a little bit and came here to mine and work up a little bit of a nest egg so I could use that uh, to buy ores, which I smelt down and resell, and make more money doing that. Uh, the labor pool builds just as it normally would as you're logged off, so every uh, two and a half days uh, to three days you'll have a full labor pool to come. You can burn it AFK while you go to bed, go to work, whatever. Uh, just go ahead and start smelting. The game will not log you out while smelting. Burns up that labor and then I can sell those ingots uh, on the auction house and build up uh, my money that way. And as you can see from my mailbox there, I grab my money. Uh, it's working out pretty good. So labor is the first way you uh, make gold. The second way is the loyalty tokens. As you can see here, I'll open up the marketplace and show you I'm going to click on the loyalty tab, it's the farthest one to the right. And the uh, merchant's chest, is a, uh, or the explorer's chest, uh, pretty much good things to buy. I mean, you could buy the companion cross, the, uh, you know, the drought of forgiveness, uh, but the, the chests have a chance for uh, a rare, so uh, not much of a gambler. Normally I'll take this opportunity to do a little bit of gambling for myself, see if I don't get something very valuable. And so you can see here, I've... Uh, purchase a merchant's chest. I'm going to go ahead and oh, uh, receive that to my character in my inventory. And then I'm going to go ahead and open that. I'll show you what I get. This cost me 15 loyalty tokens. Go ahead and click on it, open it up, see what I get. And I get a companion crust, which also costs 15 loyalty tokens. So nothing ventured, nothing gained, nothing lost in this case. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over through the marketplace and list that and get it uh, up for sale. Something to keep in mind with the loyalty tokens is you have to log in once a day to get the five loyalty tokens. Uh, so I don't get a lot of them because I never bother logging into the European server like I could uh, every single day. Uh, just not interested in doing that. I'll log in every few days, burn some labor. Um, it's, it's, it's not going to become a job to me. Uh, so I'm done in uh, in this zone. I'm going to move over to Windshade with this character and show you the third way to make gold, and that is through your uh, vocational badges you earn. Every time you burn labor, you're going to earn badges. They're shown in your character screen here. You can see I've got uh, uh, several hundred saved up. Uh, Shadigan's Blessings are one thing. Those are used to make uh, bundles. Those sell well. And another good thing that always sells well is the Red Lure. High-end fishermen use that. They have to use one with every cast. They go for a couple gold. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab some of these just to show you. Run over to the auction, and I'll get those listed up. And I'm shift-clicking. I don't know if everyone knows that. Uh, you can shift-click. It'll, it'll populate the search box, and you can look things up quickly. So shift-click on your item and your inventory. And that's how I do that. Uh, these are things, a lot of times they sell better in smaller units. I've uh, heard of people buying like 50 red lures and selling them for, uh, in, in lots of five and actually getting a profit doing that. Uh, never done that myself, not interested in playing the market on this account. It's pretty much build up labor and burn it off and then uh, 
make profit in as little time as possible because I really enjoy playing on uh, my normal character so that's where you'll find me. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that your ores and your ingots are priced right. Um, you can see from the pricing I'm going to at least double my money on the iron ore and the, versus the iron ingot. It takes three ores to make an ingot so I'm going to check prices make sure that's still the case. It's not always the case like stone right now raw stone versus stone bricks uh, it's a break even so it's a waste of time to make those if you don't want skill in that for some reason. So uh, check those prices and watch the markets on that. Please post if you have uh, any tips that uh, are things better to buy, better to burn your labor on. There's uh, you know, it's, it's so many things you can do in this game. That's one of the fun things about it uh, is there's so many different things you can try and do and, and find out what makes more profit. So feel free to post that. And uh, that concludes my quick tip from Dark Felt. I uh, hope you enjoy it and hope you use it and uh, get some easy plex to either pay for your patron status or just get some nice toys for your account. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.